Hello, everyone. This is Terry Vinson with SDGeeks.com, and I wanted to make everyone aware that I am providing a free course on my site for anyone that's interested in learning about SDWAN. Recently, a lot of people have been contacting me asking for help getting prepared to interview for employment in the software-defined space. A lot of these individuals are focusing specifically on Cisco SD-WAN. And as a result of that, what I decided to do is I pulled section one that involves building a home lab and learning some core fundamentals about how SD-WAN works out of my larger masterclass that I've been working on. So I'd like to take the opportunity to kind of walk through this with you guys to see if this is something that you're going to be interested in. So the objective of this is going to be to implement a Cisco Catalyst SD-WAN 20.12.3 Home Lab. Now, in the course, I am going to walk you through the process of building this lab environment on an ESXi host. This ESXi host will be running even G Pro. And as you can see, it's uh, roughly 20 lessons at this point in time, and it has about six hours of video content. The object was to try to provide all of the tools and resources necessary to allow anyone to be able to build this home lab and use this home lab to explore the features and the capabilities of the SD-WAN platform. On this channel, I will be releasing some labs, and those labs will actually operate inside of this environment. However, keep in mind, this is actually part of my masterclass, which isn't ready yet, but I am working on it. So with that, what I would like us to do is go through the curriculum. So from the perspective of the resources, we will set up and configure a Catalyst Manager, what we used to refer to as a vManage from scratch, then implement a root CA. In my lab, I'm going to be using an iOS XE device as my root CA. So that was very, very useful for a lot of my CCIE students, and you might help find it helpful too. Keeps you from having to spin up an extra resource. Then we will have a conversation about the fundamentals of trust. Now, this is not by any stretch of the imagination a deep dive into trust, but it is to make you guys aware of the nuances of how trust works, the different methods and forms that trust takes, and also the reliance on trust in a solution like Catalyst SD-WAN. We will onboard our validator, aka the vBond. We will have a discussion about data transport layer security control plane tunnels. Then we will actually onboard our second validator. I will discuss how we will do that using fully qualified domain name resolution and round robin. And we will implement three vSmarts. The rationale behind deploying three vSmarts is I want to implement concepts like controller affinity. We have create and apply the root certificates that we will actually end up signing and creating on that root CA server that I described earlier. We will onboard C Edge one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take a very brief look at concepts related specifically to the behavior of OMP inside of Catalyst SD-WAN, specifically the T-Lock route types. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go through and we're going to onboard C Edge 3 and that's going to give us the ability to be able to take a critical look at the concept of T-Locks and also the initiation of IPsec tunnels that are going to be part of our overlay. From there, we will go ahead and onboard C Edge 2, C Edge 4 and 5 and C Edge 6. And then ultimately, that's going to give us a working lab that we can use to explore everything SD-WAN. Now, I am in the process of also uploading some additional tasks in the form of hands-on labs. If all goes well, I plan to probably put about four or five of these up and give you guys some hands-on exercises specifically focused on the concept of templates and policies. The reason for this is, is that in the core class, in the master class, I'm focusing mostly on the concept of configuration groups and the policy group architecture that is part of what we refer to as UX 2.0 in SD-WAN. So the goal or the exercise here is, is to make certain that you guys understand that you have access to this resource if you're interested in learning a little bit more about SD-WAN and its operation. And it's pretty much an independent class in its own right. If I can get about 100 people to sign up for this class, I'll go ahead and bump the lab count up to about 10. 
I'll include some traffic engineering labs. I'll talk about some application while routing. And we may even mess around with the API a little bit. So that should incentivize you guys to access it and go ahead and sign up if you're interested. If not, I'm going to do pretty much the exact same thing for DNA Center and also for my enterprise automation class that I'm currently running in SD Geeks. So till then, you guys take care. Good luck moving forward. And I hope to hear from you guys soon.